What is up, Gemini? This is Valkyrie Tarot coming at you, getting back into the Love and Soulmate readings for 2024. You asked, I listened, we're back. We're back, we're going to do it. All right. Uh, Gemini, welcome to January 2024. I almost said 2022. So something happened to you two years ago. Keep that in mind here. Um, we are going to do a love and soulmate reading. We'll get into it, and then we'll get a little oracle all at the end. All right? If you are interested in a private reading, I am offering those. You can email me at ValkyrieTarot716 at gmail.com, or uh, you can contact me with one of the other ways down below. All right? That being said, let's get to it. All right? You will be on this side. Your significant other will be on this side, and the energy between the two of you is in the middle. All right? Uh, Pre-shuffled already ready to go first card is you death card in reverse scorpio energy very interesting for you gemini uh you're resisting change you're like fighting change for something energy that you're currently in high priestess though dang that's a lot of good energy to be in the high priestess cancerian type of energy you are following your intuition you are full of knowledge you are stepping into your divine feminine that's good stuff. That's the energy you're in right now. How your loved one sees you. Page of Swords. So, communicating how you feel, but small little things. Not big things. Hang on, let me drop this a little bit so you can see the cards here. There you go. Showing my desk here with all the papers on it. All right. How, sorry, uh, your loved one or your significant other, four of swords. So they're resting right now. They're just sitting back, recuperating. Maybe they're getting over whatever this ick is that's going across. And clearly I am too. If you guys watched the video right before this, I was sneezing like crazy and super congested. Um, <laughs> gotta love it. Now I'm all cleared up. Uh, God bless no spray, right? Um, the energy that your loved one is in. It's the magician in reverse. Ooh. Ooh, uh, very interesting so the magician and the high priestess are partners they're husband and wife basically um so we definitely have matching energy this is a relationship okay this is a karmic connection of sorts whether it's twin flame or soulmate whatever um but you don't feel confident or not you don't uh you're interesting i'm wondering why i'm saying it like that um your loved one doesn't feel confident. They don't feel like they have what it takes to be your mirror right now. How you see your loved one. Seven of Pentacles. Someone who is dependent on you. Um, someone who is self, like working on being self-sufficient, but does have some dependence on you as a partner um, and kind of puts their happiness in how your relationship is working. Energy between the two of you. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Um, there's a lack of teamwork. There's a lack of co functioning uh between the two of you right now. So that's gonna be your answer, something that you need to work on here. Um energy under the deck is strength, finding the courage and the energy to move forward. Leo energy here. All right, let's get some confirmation here. All right, death card. Man, Gemini, why did you come out as the death card? Interesting. Why don't you come on as the death card? Okay. Ace of Wands. Passionate new beginning, new job. One more. One more there for the death card. Another confirmation for the death card. One more. One more. Yeah. The world in reverse. Uh so Ace of Wands, passionate new beginning as in relationship and or a new job. Um, when we're looking at the world in reverse, though, Earth elements, usually pretty stable, but you're seeking closure on something and or you're not able to fulfill a cycle, okay? Um, very interesting. So you're resisting something probably because you're comfortable where you're at. Are you resisting a job offer? Or are you resisting this this relationship because you're comfortable where you're at gemini let's be honest i mean you're you're twins to yourself you got two different personalities you got plenty of conversations to keep yourself comfortable within yourself 
let's see where the rest of these cards take us. All right. Ooh, backwards. Uh, High Priestess. Let's get an answer for the High Priestess here. High Priestess. One card, please. One card. Yeah. High Priestess. Uh, you have two paths ahead of you. That's the energy that you're in. I, <laughs> I know this is a relationship reading, but it's coming up like you were offered a job or offered an opportunity, but you're resisting it. And you're really like toying with where you want to go. All right. Um, Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Your loved one sees you as the Page of Swords. What is this? Page of Swords. Just developing speech impediments here. Yeah, ton of cups. Hmm. I think I see where this is going. I feel like you were offered a job or you were offered an opportunity to move, but right now you're resistant to it because when you contacted them, you basically said, hey, I might have to leave. And knowing that you had to leave is not what you wanted. You wanted to stay in a committed relationship you wanted to stay with this person and the truth is you guys are you're a matching pair all right um four swords what's this the rest and recuperate four swords ace of swords are they not can they not move are they stuck where they're at yeah um they're they're happy where they're at they're happy for you too, but they're happy where they're at. Ace of, not ace, ace of swords and uh, six of wands. They are really confident where they're at. This might be a person who, ah, let me see the rest of the cards. Uh, magician, why is the magician in reverse? Yeah. Six of swords in reverse. Magician in reverse. Page of wands in reverse. They can't leave. They can't leave because where they're at is where they're meant to be right now. And they don't have the same opportunities where you are going that they have here. Right, seven of Pentacles, but they're dependent on you. So, or you see them as dependent on you. Nine of Cups came out in reverse, if you're wondering. One more. One more here. Page of Swords. Lots of small communications. It's like you're afraid to have... Um, it's like you're afraid to have an open conversation. My hair is on the other table. Um, but interesting that your energies match each other. You're both matching each other's energy of the Page of Swords. So you're having small communications, but you're holding yourself back. You're not... You're not opening up completely. And that's why this Eight of Pentacles is stuck. So, like, this is something you're going to have to work on together. Not unreasonable for a committed relationship. Somebody gets a job and they have to move to, like, I don't know, in America. Like, let's say you're from New York City and you got to move to Utah, right, for whatever your job is. And the other person's like, dude, I, I have a life here in New York City. I have nothing in Utah. I don't want to move with you. I don't know what to do. Like, that's kind of like what this conversation is right here. All right, Gemini, let's see what's going on here. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Lack of wanting to work. We had two of these pop out. Yeah. Wow. Three of... Three, <laughs> three of Swords in reverse, and then three of Cups in the upright. So... It's not like you guys are hurt by this, because you're just still... Entertaining the idea, I think. Someone's really interested in just having fun and enjoying where they're at in this moment. <clears throat> yeah. And because of that, there's a, uh, so this is Taurus energy right here. Uh, Queen of Pentacles. Because of that, there's a lack of stability. There, someone's acting like they don't care. And it's like, hey, you know what? It was fun while it lasted. Whatever. Good luck. Have fun. Uh, and it's it's make it's leaving this message of instability here. Uh, but there's there is a want for commitment. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles is the mother of the deck. You know what I mean? Like she takes care of business. 
So, oh my God, I have to ask for one more. I'm sorry. All right, let's get another one for you, Gemini. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are fighting over this. Uh, and that's what's causing this magician to be out of whack and everything. There's going to be some competition. There's going to be some fighting over this process. Um, we're going to ask for some advice from the Oracle, but uh, it, it sucks because Gemini, you're in a good situation. You've been offered this opportunity, but it's almost like you're willing to give it up to stay so that this person can stay happy. But you're not really talking to each other. You're not open about your communications. Like you're going to be resentful and the other person's going to be resentful too. And it's, it's a real hard road to navigate. Okay. Uh, energy under the deck was the five of swords in reverse. Basically, you know, put your cards out on the table, be honest about what's going on. Um, don't try to like lie about it. Don't try to deceive someone else. All right. Um, twin flame messages. So a message from your significant other to you. I'm sorry if I held myself back from you. Okay. Yeah. So maybe they kind of always had this feeling that you were going to walk away and they didn't know how to actually be themselves. Possibility. Oops. My box. My box fell over. All right. Um, Oracle, just for you. This is the magic Oracle. Oracle, just for Gemini here. Oracle for Gemini. Woo. All right. We've got inspiration and divine guidance. Dang. If that doesn't completely answer all of the questions, okay? Inspiration is the ace of wands, okay? And then divine guidance, guess who that is? That is the high priestess. The universe is telling you to follow your heart, follow your gut, and it won't lead you wrong. If your loved one and you are partners, if your loved one is willing to set aside their ego, which is the six of uh, wands up here, if they're willing to set aside their ego and work with you, this can be a successful partnership. But until then, we're going to have some conflict. You're going to have to work through it. Okay. Woo. Gemini, you never cease to amaze. <laughs> I hope that this was a good reading for you and that it resonates with you. If you want additional information on here, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm happy to give you a personal reading. Until next month, deuces.